clear my first run. I've only played 12 runs, apparently, but I'm still trying to clear one. So let's uh, see how we do. I spent all my meta progression upgrades. I do have a death defiance now, so that's good. I spent everything on that death defiance. I'm gonna go in. I don't really wanna go in with the bow. I'll be honest, I really like the fist. I wanna clear with the fist. We'll uh, keep that going. Can I enhance it? I cannot enhance it. Everything costs so much. We'll just start a run immediately. All right, we're gonna get one beautiful run in this game, and then we'll see. The launcher deals more damage and it makes enemies confused for six seconds. Your dash is followed up by a delayed slash. When your health is 30% or below, deal increased damage and gain bonus dodge chance. We'll do the launcher doing more damage, sure. Ah. Guess what, we have to get the relic. Oh god, pardon me. Mm. Trying to decide which way I should go in the long run. Do I want to go two stores or do I want one store? Usually that depends on how much damage I take. Dormant Ember gives me the meta progression for everything. When you slay enemies, they reward 20% dust per unique status effect inflicted on them. Plus one air jump. I don't really want that, but I'll take it for now. Uh, we'll go the middle. Start, collect that spirit blessing, your dash creates a flaming bird, eh. While enemies are inflicted with status effects, they also receive more damage. I don't have any status effects besides confused, but that could come in handy if I get more status effects. I don't know if I've beaten this thing before. Okay. <laughs> I uh, beat the crap out of it. All right, next. Your dash deals more damage, your attack deals more damage, and inflicts frost. I mean, that's another status effect, so they'll take more damage if I get my launcher and my attack on them. Uh, don't really need to heal, so I'm gonna go for the secret, the sacred blessings, just so I can get an upgrade. I want a bolt. Your bolt is a flamethrower. Yeah, sure, now I can have three status effects on them. Uh, luminous gem upgrade, that would be good. See, look at that. Easy peasy. Give me the gem. What's up, Reld? Happy today. I hope you're doing good. Freeze and attack. Sure. Happy Monday. If anyone here likes Mondays.
all Monday is to me is back to the double streams, which is fine because it's a lot easier to work out when I got a six hour break in between. Or a five hour break. What up, devil? Gamers, it's spring break, so the hallways are empty and you still have to work. We'll take that. When you wall splat enemies inflicted with frost, they deal damage and inflict frost nearby. Frost inflicted enemies receive a burst of damage if they don't attack for three seconds. Three icicles fall above. Uh, we'll do frost fight. Spring break happens in the goddamn first week of March. That seems, uh. Quite early for a spring break. But who am I to say? I've never been on spring break. down. The essence is kind of like, okay, I'd rather have the currency that gives me progression. Your dash is followed up by a delayed slash that makes enemies confused. 15% uh, bonus dodge chance after our dash. Enemy corpses leave a trail of thorns. I've never done the thorns before, so let's try that out. Status effects with increased, increased duration is good. Get some health back. Spirit Blessing, sure. Uh, your neutral attack deals more damage. 30%, 35% bonus damage, sure. I don't need to buy the reroll. I don't reroll a lot of stuff. Alright, boss number one. Not bad. Yeah. What's Got up, enough. OMG fam? Good morning. Uh, hey, good morning. How you doing? Uh, hey, good, uh, good morning. How you doing? Give me that health. Give me a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Uh, what do we got? Any attack that has a pull effect don't got no pull effect. Launcher deals 200% shield damage. I will take that. I don't even gonna look at the other ones. That just sounds nice, even though I have an extra one. Uh, going this way gets me a lot of health regeneration, but no luminous gems. If I go for the relic, I can go to the I can pivot to the right side and get two health upgrades and a green one, which I think will be good. So we'll go relic. What's up, Dr. Prodigy? Good morning. Good morning to all the gamers that are coming in. Happy uh, today, I guess. Happy Monday, you made it. Store 18 health when defeating elite enemies. Sure, 79% dash damage will be good. Ugh, as much as I want it and I could pivot over to this, I feel like I need the luminous gem. That's not guaranteed to give me a luminous gem. Maybe if it told me what the new upgrades YouTube were, that'd subscriber. be cool. Hey, new YouTube subscriber. There's a new YouTube video coming out today. You don't want to be happy? <laughs> well, I hope you're happy. 
So last night I was trying to render the video and every time, 40 minutes into the rendering like three times in a row, my the video would crash on one certain frame. It would stop rendering on frame, I think 53,000 or 59,734 every time. And it took about 40 minutes to get to that part. It happened like three times in a row and I was getting really frustrated because I hated when that happens. Because I like I tried everything. I re-recorded that part of the script. I got new footage. And then I was like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to change up my video settings for rendering and uh, try something new. So I had the YouTube best render settings for whatever Sony Vegas program I was using. Because I did not feel like figuring it out. And uh, then I, it worked. It actually worked. I was so annoyed. But the video was out. The thumbnail. Uh, I wish I was better at thumbnails. But one day at a time, you know. Twenty-five max health is nice. Play the first ever party-based Souls-like at PAX East. What's up, unexplainably weird? Good morning. I can tell it's almost PAX time for me because all the emails I'm getting are people trying to get me to play their game at PAX, which I guess is pretty cool. I need to make a whole schedule. This will be the first PAX I actually be a creator. Pax, Pax, Pax. Yeah, I don't think anyone in this chat's gonna be at Pax East, but hey, if any of you are at Pax East, uh, try to find me, I guess. I'll be a bald guy. I'll be a guy that has a receding hairline and is wearing a hat. When am I leaving again? March 20th is my flight out. And my flight back is Sunday, which I think is the 24th. So March 20th is Wednesday, 21st is Tuesday. Thursday, 20, yeah, my flight back is 24th, so streams will be back on the 25th. Hey, Volt Flare, you could have been. You could have been at PAX. I think you can still buy tickets, but they're fucking expensive, so. I I'm able to go to PAX because I don't have to pay for board because I'm staying with my grandparents because they live near Boston, and I can just, like, take the bus in. And I got a free PAX ticket, so all I had to do was get a flight. And then I have to worry about, you know some food there, I guess, because I'm staying with my grandparents. They'll probably just have food. So it's like, I, I'm very lucky that my grandparents still live near Boston, and I guess that they're still alive. Because they are getting up there in age. Good morning, Gamer Pro. How are you doing? Do natural selection. What's up, Mrs. Pyre at Boston? Boston, my home city. My home city. What does that mask do, by the way? This one, uh, it, get le it allows you to heal up to 30% of the damage you just took in a small, uh, in a small window of opportunity. So, like, if you get hit, you have, like, a few seconds to deal damage to get 30% of your health back from... Like, if you just lost 15 health, you can get 30% of it back by dealing damage. It's a nice mask because I have mostly just upgraded my uh, skill tree for the the green one because it has all the healing. Like, I got a death defiance and everything now, which I'm very happy about. I haven't touched really any of the other ones. Can't move, cat is sleeping on your belly. Oh, that's nice. My cat randomly, uh... My cat randomly, uh... At 3 a.m., she jumps on the bed with a ball. While I'm trying to sleep, she woke me up. She jumps on the bed with a ball. Because she's like, meow, 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 it's playtime. And it's just like, motherfucker, it's sleep time. Not to her, though. And, uh... So I threw the ball. She's like, eh, go get it. She got it. She brings it back. I'm already passed out again. Then she just lays on me for like five minutes. And I'm just like, okay. Okay. Get the icicle rain this time. Hey, I'm not taking any damage. 
basic dodge chance. I will take basic dodge. Doesn't need anything on your gut. Oh, she's working in the bread factory. She's working early in the morning. Shout out to your cat working that job early. Got, she got rent to pay. Literally every time I do this boss fight, that that one enemy is the last one every time because they're the hardest to kill. Cat claws are like hooks; they go deep. You gotta cut those claw. You gotta cut those claws. Not like declaw her, but you know, cut them if they're too hard. But then again, some cats might not let you cut their claws because they're so feisty, like Stormy. Ten percent attack speed and ten percent damage, sure. And we'll get the spectral fist. What's up, Mr. Monk? Hello. She'll bite you? Yeah, I know that feeling. One of my cats is very, very uh, feisty with her claws being touched. She'll let you hold her all day long, but if you touch her beans too much, she'll be like, hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm like, oh, my bad. I was just trying to, you know, make your life a little bit better. Do scorch and dash make my dash a little bit better. Ooh, I that realm lets me go anywhere if I want to. What is that middle one? I think I want to go on the left side because I'm pretty sure that's a relic upgrade. Oh, if I oh, I can't go to the middle though, because mm. I want to get the 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 health upgrades as well. We're gonna go for the rift. That's one. That's two. Can I just do this the whole time? <laughs> they weren't even able to do anything. All right, that was easy. That was easy. Break in the ice. What's up, throw to the world? Good morning. What's up, do what? Double Shang Chi, who would expect it? Also, what's up, gentle giant games rip? Hey, you get, they got destroyed. What can I say? I've gotten better. Uh, deal bonus damage when hitting enemies right after they miss. Base damage, critical chance 3%. I do a lot of attacks. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Sure. Spend dust to purchase relics or modify them. I only have 373. What just happened? I destroyed them. Tay, good morning. I hope you're well. Deal 80% damage while... What's this? Oh, that's nothing. When you were hit, there was a 16% chance to reduce incoming damage by half. 20% more attack damage. 70% dash. I'll buy this one, honestly. Oh, increase the level. That'd be sick. 
I could reroll these modifiers. Eh, I'll just I'll save my money. Also, hi, Gentle Giant Games again. Good morning to everyone coming in. There's a lot of you coming in now. Good morning. Happy Monday. Do not worry. You, you open up Twitch and you see Burr's live and you're like, there he is. This guy's always live. Tuesday? You know, damn well tomorrow's Tuesday. Okay, so I think we've done a good handful of runs. And some runs I have a lot more confidence than others. This run, I don't have the most confidence in the amount of health that I have, but the build that I have going, kind of, kind of have a build going. Um, I'm very confident with this. I can get more confidence. You deal more damage to enemies the further away. No, I'm not really that far away. Reduce incoming damage. Yeah, sure. I also have a revive for the first time, so happy about that. Sacrifice some of your health for the spirits. I'm gonna do the sacrifice. Breaking the ice plus rarity. Freeze an attack plus luminous gem. Nice. I'll take that. Oh, I can avoid him. I'm just gonna go. I want to increase my max health. I have a lot of confidence because I break shields so damn fast and I do more damage the more status effects they have. And I'm pretty sure I can get up to three status effects right now with the confuse, the burn, and the freeze. So I'm doing a lot of extra damage from that. Oh my god. Give me that max health. Uh, Pet. Pet the turtle. Oh, and is this your new friend? Yeah, I think we can trust them too. I got an achievement. <laughs> Love it when they have achievements for just like doing something simple like that. 10% damage during my next boss fight, I will take. Sacred place of healing. All right. can't even afford anything. No pet. I, I pet him. I just pet them now. For the first time. <laughs> I've been playing the game for six hours and I finally pet him. I never even saw the, the, the prompt to pet them before. When I finally learned my lesson. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson? Oh, man. Sorry, I take it back. It's okay. It's okay. You can be mad at me for never petting them until then. That's that's understandable. Never even tried to pet them. Roommate scared me this morning, was asleep, and he put the Master Chief helmet on me, so all I saw was yellow tint and my voice was robotic. How the hell does somebody put a whole mask on you while you're sleeping? But then again, apparently my cat jumps on top of me when I'm sleeping, so. Fifth attack deals 25% damage, 10% more damage to bosses, and launcher dealing 10% more damage. We got ourselves a full list of enchantments. 
We got ourselves a full list of enchantments. Some of my health for the spirits. There's a luminous gem over here, though. And I do think I could use a couple better relics. Alright, this is the area I still have never gotten past. So maybe we'll see if... This is the run, pardon me. Receive minus 35% damage from elite enemies, more bolt damage, more shield damage, and more dash damage. Well... I'll take the less damage against elites. Wait, I can get rid of that. Hold to destroy. Ooh, that gives me an essence. Holy moly. Went to bed at 7 p.m. You woke up at 9 a.m.? I'm sorry. What? You slept for 14 hours? The amount you earned... Yeah, 14 hours. The amount you just slept now, that's more than I sleep in like three days at times. Sometimes my sleep ain't that good. Jesus. I'm gonna say this. I feel like sleeping that much. What a waste of time. Like, everyone's body is different, but I don't know. I would hate if I slept that much. But maybe you haven't slept in three days or something, but... If I slept that much on a regular nightly basis, oh my god, I would hate that. That's only 10 hours in a day. I feel like if you wake if you wake up after 14 hours, it's like, okay, I got six hours left in my day before it's bedtime again. Ow. I don't think I have anything on my dash yet. Ow. Two 12 hour shifts end and end up just a few hours before between them. Yeah, something like that would make you sleep a lot. What's a narcolepsy? Is that just a condition where you sleep a shit ton? Thought I'd like to sleep? I like to sleep like seven hours. If I get seven hours of sleep, my day's gonna be fantastic. That's all I know. Like, I had one time a really long night where I would... I had an overnight flight from Alaska all the way to Boston that had, like, two layovers in between. Or maybe one layover in between. Like, a flight from Anchorage to Seattle. And then from Seattle to Boston. Then I took a bus from Boston to New Hampshire. And then after that, I had to work a 10-hour shift. And then after that, I went to bed at, like, 9 p.m. And I woke up maybe at, like, you know, 8 a.m. That was, like, the most sleep I've ever gotten. But nowadays, if I just get seven hours of sleep, my day is amazing. Six hours of sleep, I'm functioning. But seven hours is all I need. But seven hours is also very rare. I average probably six and a half hours every night. It could be chronic fatigue slash tiredness despite good quality and lengthy sleep. Just not falling asleep in your soup like the movies. I've been uh, very lucky in life to not have many things wrong with me. I've been very lucky. I know when my day is over, though, because right around 10 p.m. usually, maybe 9.30, my body's like... Oh. 
I slowly, slowly become very, very tired. Like, I passed out on the couch a couple nights ago. Saturday night, I passed out watching the uh, Calgary Flames and the Penguins game. And I woke up and the Penguins were losing. Or the Penguins the Penguins gave up their two-goal lead in th the third quarter. The third period. I was like, what the hell happened? I got donked out for ten minutes. Just goes to show you, I have a comfortable couch. God, I hate this enemy. I hate that enemy that you have to punch to his eyeball. You also work like 12 hour days, seven days a week. Me? What? No, I don't work 12 hour days. It's like 10. I do six hours of streaming guaranteed like five days a week on top of a few hours of editing if I need to. I work out when I need to. I make some food if I need to. And uh, what else do I do? That's basically it. Sometimes edit, sometimes write. Okay, yeah, I'm a little busy, but still. No, wait. Who would think after working all day you'd be tired? Listen, I've been working my butt off the past uh, few days for a YouTube video that's coming out in 25 minutes on Batman. Remember how I played through all the Batman games in January? All the Batman Arkham games? Asylum, Night, Asylum City, Origins, and Night? Well, I got a 30 minute video coming out on all of them. And it's gonna be amazing. No. Oh yeah, my bolt. One air jump. Enemies are inflicted with stacks of burn for five seconds when they spawn into the room. I'll do scorching bolt. Alright, I've never beat this boss before, so uh good luck to me. Get my health up. Oh, I'm one health away from max health, but I'll get it up. I think I get a little bit of health every time I enter a room. Or is that a is that a blessing? That might be a blessing. Revenge will be good. Almost five days of stream attendance time with 500 messages sent. You lurked through February. Five days of stream attendance? Wait, so like 24, 48, like 120 hours of lurking? 24, 48, 72, 96, 120. Four days and 22 hours. How much did I stream in February? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm curious. Okay, wait. Pause. Time out for a second. I'm sorry. Time out for just one second. I need to see how much I streamed in February. I'm going to make sure I don't show you how much money I made so you don't have to see that I'm making less than minimum wage from Twitch. But <laughs> I'm curious. How much did I stream in February? Analytics, engagement, I guess. 
from February 1st to February 29th update. Average viewers was that. Can I, can I see? Oh, I have to go to overview where it shows my money. Oh, wait, it's not showing my money. That's good. So apparently in February, I streamed for 186 hours and 47 minutes in February. I had 586 clip views, apparently. 88 follows. 341 subscriptions, and I averaged 54 viewers. My most recent stream has been Spiritfall, of course. Our suggestions. No, 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 no. Your suggestions are all shit, Twitch. I don't want to stream. Just because I'm playing Spiritfall doesn't mean I want to play a goddamn fighting game. I don't like fighting games. I don't like these online fighting games. I like Spiritfall because it's a rogue. Like Crab Champions. There's an actual good suggestion. <sighs> ad incentive program. You want to see these ad incentive offers? Look at this shit. Seven minutes of ads? Hell no, I'm not playing seven minutes of ads. $76? I play three minutes of ads every hour. I earn more than $76 from that. I earn like 120 bucks. Let's get the fuck out of here with your ad offers, Twitch. How many hours did I stream? About 180. Laura, how are you feeling? Also, hi. I streamed about 180 hours in February, and that doesn't count burgle streams, which I don't think happened, and me editing videos all the time. So, yeah. And I, let me tell you, I didn't make that much money. I'm making less. I did the math. I was making, like, <laughs> I think, like, $8 an hour, $9 an hour. So I guess it's more than minimum wage in some places in the U.S., boss fight. 20 hours more than a 40 hour week job. I wonder how much I streamed in January, because January was all the Batman games. Alright, let's beat this guy. You've been waiting. Ah, yeah, yeah. You've been waiting. Ah, yeah, yeah. Attack. Safely traverse the frigid veil. First time, baby. Oh my god. What's a better newer roguelite between this and Astro Ascent? I haven't seen this game fully, but I've really liked Astro Ascent. I haven't seen this game's difficulty enhancers, but in terms of meta progression, Astro Ascent I feel might be less grindy for the meta progression. And the different type of spells that you can get with Astral Ascent. I would compare these spells more to kind of like Hades compared to Astral Ascent. <sighs> I'd have to say Astral Ascent still because I haven't I've only played this for like six hours. They are both very good games. But Astro Ascent was something special to me when I, I played that out of 1.0. Also, it turns out there's a fifth area in this game. 
In terms of run length, they seem to be quite similar, though, because I know Astral Ascent took me about an hour when I was first trying to clear the game, and then once I kind of got the meta progression and kind of got good at the game, it would take me about 40 minutes to clear a run. This run is about 40 minutes in with me being a little troll and looking at my goddamn Twitch stats in the middle. And we're 40 minutes in. These enemies absolutely suck. They just took away all my damn health. I just realized I don't even get to look. I don't even choose on who's next. There's a heal station in this area. KO'd three of them. Ooh, God gracious, man. Heavens to Betsy. Oh, there is a place to heal. Thank God. Got some health. Buy Spirit Blessing? I mean, I might as well buy them all. Uh, if my health goes below 30%. I have 20% chance to dodge. I'll take it. Enemies that overlap, deal bonus damage when hitting enemies right after they miss their attack. I mean, if someone misses an attack, I might as well get some bonus damage, if they do miss. When inflicting a stackable status effect on enemies, there's a chance to apply an additional stack. Your attacks and launchers deal more damage and shield damage when hitting enemies strike from above. We'll do flare-up, since I have three statuses, but I think only one of them is stackable. Omen forged, we meet at last. The spirits turn so swiftly on those of us who have dedicated our lives to them. What unreliable mischief begins? They don't have any answers for us anymore. No resolve. There's nothing left. Nothing except the things we swore to protect. Protecting him, that was my responsibility. I have yet to abandon my duty. I have no intent on doing so. Do you hear me, spirits? I will never let you take this away from me. How did that hit me? Oh, I didn't get any like bonus damage for dunking them down. That would have been nice. Unless it's easy to do.
dude, I'm dunking her down every time. I beat her. Safely traversed the brink. Achievement unlocked. What's up, Falcus? Every one of you is unworthy. The gate is sealed for no soul from this realm belongs beyond it. You have not done your part. You have done your part well so far. Keep feeding this omen forge, but make no mistakes. If we meet again, you will experience nothing but pain and torment. Does that mean I unseal the gate? Oh, run complete. New best time. Apparently, I did it in 31 minutes and 32 seconds. Not bad. I actually want to run. A lot of blessings I didn't get, but still. Good amount of relics. What's up, Robin? Good morning. Do I get any, like, extra meta progression currency? Because I always need more. <laughs> I'll take any. I'll take anything that I can get. GG. GG. That was a good run. That was satisfying. 31 minutes as well? That's fucking quick. I like that. All right. Let's see what... Let's see if anything gets added now that I cleared it. Omen Forge, you have removed some of the blight around the Great Gate. There are four blight routes left. You must keep going. So I need to clear the game four more times. Is there difficulty enhancers to worry about? What are we talking here? Oh, we got difficulty enhancers. Let me upgrade some of this. Always endure a kill and blow with one health left if your health was 10% lesser prior. I'll get 20% extra damage on stunned enemies. Wait, can I enhance this? Missing a few of those. How am I finding this game so far? It's good. I just cleared my first run at 31 minutes, and it was quite nice. I could enhance this if I wanted to. Oh, you can enhance them multiple times. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Stray souls and challenge level. Stray souls have gathered near the sanctum. Purify them at an altar of tribute to activate it without sacrifice and health. Eventually, all stray souls must reach the brink. We all deserve our final rest. Carrying stray souls with you will make the journey more difficult. Even after purification, the effects of their corruption will remain until you perish. You can start the run with various benefits at the cost of resources. Set the first divine spirit of the run by offering dormant embers. Set an enchantment to start the run by offering combat runes. Set a relic to start the run by offering... Oh. Oh, elite enemies will have unique modifiers on them, providing an, an assortment of different buffs. Shielded enemies receive 50% less damage until their shield is broken. If you drink from a regional shrine's fountain, the next region's fountain will be disabled. That. I don't drink from those that much. Celestial exchange items cost 50% more dust. Enchantments cost plus one more essence. All health recovery effects are 40% less effective. Oh, that's horrible. Your map only presents the contents of the next two lines of rooms. Ooh. So this is like... I miss this. So this like guarantees you start a run with something at the cost of one of the meta, uh, at the cost of one of the currencies. I kind of misread that one. Hey, Dragon Link. But that's what it sounds like. You start with one of the one of the blessings, but it will cost you uh, currency, which I wouldn't really want to do this early on because I still need to get all my currencies. But later on, that'd be good. Blightborn enemies are more powerful and have new attacks. Final rounds of hidden rifts contain an additional Blightborn enemy. All perennial order bosses are more powerful and have new attacks at their disposal. Is everything just the same? 
enemy health goes up also no matter what. Okay, so that's nice. YouTube, let's play. You can like and subscribe. I want to run. And I still owe me... I have to unlock all these weapons still. 